What's going on YouTube? Team SC back online here and got some exciting news for you. As you can see by the screen, if you haven't already looked, patch 3.6 is now live. That means we get a new commander for the co-op missions, Alarak. Now I did it by Abathur, but I did by Alarak because Alarak looks way more cool and awesome and uh, definitely looks like he's got some pretty unique things going for him. So we are going to be playing today. They also added in a new mission for the co-op campaign called Missed Opportunities. I haven't played it yet, so I don't know what to expect. Um, I just bought Alarak, so I'm actually going to look over his stuff real quick before we get started. Um, so it looks like he's got supplicants, which look like kind of zealots. They warp in two at a time, and they die to keep Alarak alive. Slayers, pretty much uh, blink stalker, but they have phasing armor, which I don't know what that is. Um... Target lock, squad sight, force field, I don't know what force field is. So it looks like a whole bunch of stuff, pretty much. Uh, can't really tell what the units do from this perspective. So I guess we're just going to have to start up the game and queue it up. So we are level 1, and we are going to take it on Brutal, because why will we do anything else? My only ability I have right now is Soul Absorption. Steals 20 life, restores 20 shields when a nearby enemy unit is slain. And I also steal their life when I'm about to die. So let's get started, guys. Start up the queue, shouldn't be too long. Co-op's popping these days in the world of StarCraft 2. A lot of people playing it. So, okay. So just waiting for it to download, give it a couple seconds. So anyways, I'm excited to try out this new commander. Haven't played uh, too much StarCraft the last week or so. I've been uh, busy picking up a lot of extra shifts at the hospital. Just trying to stockpile a little bit of money, save up for a couple of things. Um, you know, life stuff, guys. Life stuff. Anyway, so we are searching right now in queue. In addition, with this patch, they did release uh, matchmaking for the balance test map. I'm just going to click on the other screen real quick. So yeah, so testing. So now with the multiplayer changes, there's actually a queuing system and a separate MMR. So you can play the new version of StarCraft that they've proposed uh, and kind of get paired with people on your skill level without affecting your normal 1v1 ranked MMR. Um, so this is awesome guys. This is awesome. I actually haven't played 1v1s in quite some time. I've played a couple of three, so I still have my uh, fundamental macros down, but I have no idea about any of the timings and things like that. But, you know, it shouldn't matter for us. You know, it's uh, everything's pretty much changed, so I don't think a lot of the builds of today are going to even be applicable for the new bounce test map. So I'm excited. Let me know if you guys want. I might uh, record a couple of videos and play a couple with the new rules, some 1v1, it's going to be a little bit scrappy, but if you guys would like to see some of the new units in action, like I want to play with the Cyclones to be honest, uh, just let me know, give me a heads up. Man, and we are still searching. Alright, I'm going to pause the video for a second, once we're in game I'm going to load it back up. <laughs> oh right, pretty much as soon as I cut that video out we load it up in the game. So I'm playing with a level 54 Rainer, so it should be pretty chill. Let me type this real quick to this guy. Hi, Commanders. I thought everyone had forgotten about me out here. The hallucinations are the only visitors I've had. I guess that's Terrazine for you. Speaking of, someone has been destroying my harvesting bots. Could you provide an escort for them? So already from the get-go, it looks like uh, we need to escort harvesting bots to... Vespine geysers somewhere and then uh, don't let two bots get destroyed or else we lose so we're gonna do our best not to and then keep building these sick looking probes Alaric is warping in go ahead and put him on a hotkey so we can use him once he comes out so we'll get us we'll get our gateway up I guess we can actually do two gateways since we've got the minerals right now now co-op mission is always a lot different from multiplayer the economy is a just a little bit different because everything's got weird costs and such. Okay, so we're going for double gateway. It does look like our expansion's back here, but we got to kill a couple rocks. We're going to get that down as soon as possible so we can uh, macro up and do this like traditional StarCraft. Okay, guys, we are at a disadvantage since we are level one. But uh, hopefully, in my experience, decent macro usually will still get you a long ways in the co-op missions. But we'll see what this mission has to say. I don't even see these harvesting bots they want us to escort. So, give us a couple moments. My guy's already taken down his expansions. we got a bunch of marines out, but I guess that's what happens when you're at level 54. 
we do got these gateways online so we're gonna make some supplicants but we're supply blocked with the co-op mission how embarrassing everybody we just go ahead and throw two pylons down since we're uh kind of don't have a lot going for us right now we just get this extra gas up so i'm gonna build a bunch of these supplicants don't know what they do but they seem to be my basic core unit let's see what else we can build we can get our cybernetics core too and maybe get some of these range guys out Okay, enemies coming. So let's get some supplicants out. As the SAP, I think I'm actually going to chrono boost them since we don't really have many units. But it's okay. We can always fall back on my ally, let him do all the work since he does have uh, probably loads of advantage compared to me. I'm bare basic, level one ally, right, guys? Okay, we got a couple of these supplicants. Sweet. These guys are interesting looking. They kind of look like little predators. If anybody plays a. Uh, Predator, or watch the movies, excuse me. Okay. Oh, and they're ranged. They're not zealots. They're actually ranged units. Okay. Very cool. Ah, oh, there we go. The big dad is here. Let's go ahead and uh, start getting this base up. And we're supply blocked again. These proton units cost so much, I always forget. Okay, so we can get... Cloaking field for Havocs, increase the radius of Havocs squad site, and research warp gate. There we go. We want warp gate. So let's see Alarak. He does a 30 damage, the range of 2 on his side blades, and he also has psionic lightning, which is his air weapon, which is also 30 damage with the range of 2. Uh, it does have 400 health divided between 200 shields and 200 HP, and he's got 2 base armor and a decent movement speed. Okay, so something's coming in. Oh, we're supposed to protect those bots, but we'll be right there once we kill these rocks. I think he's got this. Yeah, my ally's got this. Oh, wow, did we finish Warp Gate already? That was crazy. You know, I'm actually going to get Cloaking Field and try to build some of these Havocs. So I'm guessing I'm going to need a Robotics Bay. I'll get a couple Gateways down as well. All right, I'm kind of letting my ally do all the work right now. I'll be there to help him in a second. Well, hold on. He only has a couple Marines. Maybe he's not doing too hot himself. <laughs> the bot is scared, guys. All right, all right. We can get this Nexus up, ladies and gentlemen. Got some more gateways. Doing good. Okay, okay. Let's just get this last. Destructible Rup. the heck is that guy saying yeah he's definitely on some stuff guys ladies and gentlemen okay so let's get this robo bay so we can get some of these so-called havocs wait havocs is that that's not the immortal is it it's oh it's those guys oh well I researched the perma cloak I guess I'm just gonna build a couple of them because why not Okay, so I'm going to transfer some of these probes, Dan. Get a couple of uh, buildings going. So let's go ahead and go over here so we can assist our allies so we can harvest this gas, guys. So we do have deadly charge. Let's go ahead and uh, use that. I have to focus on it. Okay, so he charges in, does 200 damage. And he's got Soul Absorption, which is the passive ability, and then Destruction Wave, which is 50 damage and kind of an arc. Okay. And then I have one cooldown ability, which is Structure Overcharge. Allowing it to attack nearby enemy units, an air unit. Oh, a structure, really? Cool. Alright, so let's uh, use our little... Boom. Oh my gosh, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's charge in there, Alarak. You're not going to die. Yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. So we'll let these bots do their harvesting. We're gonna get this base saturated, and we're gonna just go ahead and build. You know, we're just gonna get like a mix of stuff, everybody. And just rally them all to Alarak. So this makes my structures to attack nearby ground and area. Okay, so this is a a weird version of photon overcharge. Not bad, not bad. Get in there, Alarak. Yeah, buddy. Oh, well, we're getting flanked. 
All right, what do these uh, little Havocs do? We can do uh, some force fields. Let's uh, split this army up. Okay, very good. What else do these guys do? They can do a lot of force fields. Increase the non-melee attack range of all... Oh, okay, so these guys are good for uh, any range units I might have. I'm going to take that immortal out. All right, so we got to build a bunch more of these uh, units. Get this gas saturated. Now I should probably start working on getting a couple upgrades. Alright. I should build some pylons over here so I can actually structure overcharge. So that's cool. So pretty much as long as you have an army with Alarak, he's not going to die. He's going to stay on the front lines doing some beast damage. Well, that's level 1 Alarak, guys. OP. OP, my friends. Okay, so we got this down so we can now get a couple of vanguards. That's what they are. We'll get a couple of these guys. They're the ones who do the splash damage. So it's immortal with like these long range splash cannons. And we're going to go ahead and get some forges so we can upgrade our things. Okay, so we got a couple more points over here we need to go help. We are supply blocked. Man, we suck at this co-op mission, guys. So we're going to try and get unsupply blocked real quick. Get these upgrades going. Get a couple of these immortals out on the field. So we're pretty much just doing the Protoss Death Ball plus Alarak. So even more scary. We get plus one weapons, plus one armor. We use our chrono boosts on the upgrades. And now I like where things are going. So let's go... Uh, Help these little crackbots out over here. Okay, so our bonus objective is to destroy the extraction bot, which is, I guess, way there on the left side. So let's uh, focus on the primary goal, and then we'll see if we can take that bonus down. So go ahead and just charge in there. Why not? I wonder if I could structure overcharge one of the... <laughs> now I guess that would be a little broken. All right, so Alarak doing some work. Doing so more, and these abilities uh, charge up pretty quick. I can do that ability like, like, see, it recharges like really fast and does like 50 damage in an arc. So I mean, it is a decent amount of splash. So not bad. So we pretty much have Alarak and a bunch of little goons helping him at the front. Nope, and our allies doing pretty good too. We'll go help them out real quick. Charging there. It's to Alarak. Alright, so Alarak's like level 1, but he already feels like a beast, guys. So I'm actually just going to go hang out over here at this point. Let's get a couple more things to assess the army. Uh-oh. Got to watch out for these immortals. And we are running a little bit low on troops, so we got to be careful because we don't want Alarak to die. Okay, okay, all right, let's get out of there. All right, reinforcements are here. Alarak will live a little longer. So we got to be a little proactive with Alarak. It looks like we got to keep spamming his abilities because uh, he does decent damage, but uh, he can fairly easily get a... Uh... Oh, crap. Our guy has, like, nothing there. Uh-oh. Well, don't worry, guys. Alarak got this. Where did our teammate go? All right, let's just... Kill everything, Alarak. You the man. All right, there he is. He called down a couple battle cruisers. Talk about. Oh, they got some cloak shit. Okay, so let's go back here. All right, all right. So we need to take a moment to actually remac her up, guys, because uh, we are a little bit low on a uh, army. We need a couple more gateways to remacro because we've got. A lot of money and how you say, uh, no way to spend it. So, uh, sorry, Ally, you might suffer a little bit. Gotta go get a couple more pylons, just make sure we don't get supply blocked. I wonder if I can use my structure ability on my ally structures. Uh oh, oh my gosh. 
Okay, structure overcharge works on my allies' abilities. Okay, so we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna just power up his gas, guys. <laughs> Alright, we just turned Vespine geysers into freaking cannons. So our allies level 54 co-op, but he doesn't seem to have the best, uh... How you say, uh, standard StarCraft macro skills. We need to turn those to warp gates. And we need to get a bigger arm before we start losing our stuff. But we don't want our ally to die, so let's go in there. We can take this out. Let's go in there, guys. Alex just as strong as these little uh, hybrids. Okay, okay, so we managed to help our ally. Oh, gosh, well, we've got like three points to defend now. But that's okay, we got more gateways now. That's definitely supplementing and helping. I can't get plus two because I need a death council. What is that? Robotics Bay, death council. Okay, let's build that thing. Get a couple of those immortals out. And what else have we not built? The robotics facility, we got that. And I guess we'll build a robotics bay. Let's see what we can get from that. And those seem to be all of our structures. So we'll get a bunch of these little guys just to make sure Alarak doesn't die. And a few more of these Havocs. Okay, okay, we gotta go. We gotta go help them. Can we structure overcharge the bots? Oh no, 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 no. Kill these guys. Save the bots. Dang, look at that. Alright, get in there, Alarak. Distract. Distract. Okay, cool. He called on the Hyperion. We will be okay. Alright, you guys just need to stick with the bots. Which one's... Oh, crap. We're going to lose one over there. Um, do not let two bots die. That one, I believe, is going to die. Okay, so big fight, big fight. Oh, uh oh, no, 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 no. That bot's going way on its own. We got to go help that bot. We got to go help that bot. Oh, no, we just failed the mission. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that bot kind of slipped out and did its own little thing. That was my fault. I wasn't really paying attention. I was looking at the other bot that died. But that mission doesn't seem too hard. I think if we play it again, we could easily do it, even with the level one Alarak. It's just a, uh, I'm gonna call a uh, new hero, new abilities and a poor uh, balance of resources on that one. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, um, and I'll see you guys next time.